So it seems like there's you know, no shortage of headlines for Bitcoin. And, and I think that right now you're going to see uh, investors are just waiting to see exactly when we're going to get that next move. And I think what's really kind of disrupted the move in Bitcoin is uh, the focus with Ethereum and all the, 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 the tokens that are on their network. And, and there's this uh, NFT craze that is leading to lots of different bubble-like situations. So there's uh, this belief that you know if, if this NFT this next NFT bubble pops quickly, that could be a little bit of a short-term drag on cryptos because we are seeing some uh, really um, outlandish uh, moves in, in these crypto punks or uh, apes or whatever, penguins. <laughs> and uh, I, I think that there's a lot of, of concern that, okay, this is just too much froth right now in that part of the cryptoverse. And that is kind of hindering some of Bitcoin. But I think the, the, the long-term belief is still there. I think the, the upward targets, 75,000, 100,000 um, over the next six to 12 months are, are still kind of base case scenarios for a lot of investors. So I think right now it's just a consolidation pattern and you're probably going to see people are still going to remain committed to, to Bitcoin.